We got Zach Otto back here on the program. He's going to be taking on Alex Morono at UFC on ESPN four on March 9th. Zach, what's going on, man? How are you? Uh, good, good. Excited about this next fight and uh, just trying to stay warm out here in, in Milwaukee. Yeah, you were telling me about it. How cold exactly is it right now? Because you said you had some record uh, like low, low numbers or something. Yeah, um, it, it kind of came up now. It's funny. It's like it's like 20 degrees and it feels warm to us right now because last week we were dealing with some way uh, below zero temperatures. So we had a, a cold front that kind of came through and it was it was crazy around here. Now, do you believe in that philosophy that that being in cold weather makes you tougher? Because I, I do believe in that. I, I mean, I grew up on the West Coast, but I went to university out east and it, it was freezing. I mean, like, it, you know, in Canada, it was like minus, I think, 35 with the wind chill, uh, you know, with the, you know, how we measure our temperature. But it, it was crazy. I definitely think it made me a stronger man. Do you feel that way? Oh, totally. One hundred percent. Dealing with cold, and just getting out in it, you know, having to dig your car out of places and, and shovel your way out and, um yeah, it's just, you know, being on the elements, it's a good thing. Yeah, I think getting up early and having to go somewhere while it's cold, while you're, you know, trying to plow off the car or whatever, or get get rid of any of the snow. I think that that is really the essence of, you know, a make or break when it comes to a person. So um, that that's I mean, you, you can't get any worse than that. Also, I think just the lack of sun makes you more gritty. Um, you know, I lived in Colorado and it gets snowy there, but it's all it's sunny all the time. Uh, kind of helps keep you in a, in a brighter mood. You know, in Milwaukee, it's it's pretty overcast, basically, all yeah, of like winter. When- I was going to say, like, when Rocky trained for Drago, you know, he didn't go to Florida. He went to, you know, he, he went to the mountains. He went to go train in, in the, the freezing cold snow. So it does make you tougher. I'm glad we agree on that. But uh, let's talk about you and this fight. Um, how happy were you to get this matchup? Because it seemed like this was a matchup you guys both wanted, and here we are, and you guys are fighting each other. Yeah, I'm glad they made it happen. Um, I feel like it's been maybe years in the making, and, uh, you know, we both wanted it. So let's make it easy for the matchmakers, and let's just go ahead and and do it. It makes sense on paper. So, um, yeah, well, now we'll figure out who the winner is going to be. Before we talk about the matchup, uh, did you get to enjoy the holiday season? And last time we talked, you'd come off that win over Dwight Grant. Uh, you know, I know sometimes, uh, the mentality is to just get right back in the gym and get back to, uh, you know, hit the pavement, but did you get any time off for the, for the holiday season? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, uh, you know, that fight came up on short notice right before my birthday and the holidays. So I was able to, fight and then the next week i had my birthday and then the week after christmas and and new year's and all that so it was like perfect timing i got a chance to really see some family and relax and eat and then uh this fight just came in and now i can start training camp and and i have enough time to get ready for this one of course i'm always training but it's good to just kind of relax a little bit and take in all the good food once in a while um how'd you celebrate your birthday uh, nothing special. Uh, 32 years old. So uh, one of my best friends from high school, he um, he has a, a birthday very close to mine. So we normally do like a, a joint birthday celebration and a lot of people come out, you know, as we get older, we, we see that circle of friends less and less. So it's good to see everybody come out and get together again. Let's talk about Alex Morono, 15 and five record. How do you feel like you match up against him here? Uh, really well, um, which is why I've, I've wanted the fight. Um, nothing against him personally. I don't know if he's got something against me personally. We don't know each other. Um, but, uh, you know, you're just looking for fair matchups all along the way in the UFC. I mean, I've always been fighting people with either way more experience than me or, uh, you know, by far winning records compared to my record at the time. And we're very similar on paper. You know, he's got seven fights in the UFC, just like myself, four wins in those seven fights. Um, there's a lot of things that he brings to the table that I'm going to have to definitely work on and <clears throat> make sure that um, I'm aware of. But also there's a lot of things I feel like I can, I can exploit against this guy. Anything different for this training camp at Pura Vida, just training with the same guys other than uh, Tim Hiley, who I know is still recovering probably from that ankle injury, uh, wishing him a speedy recovery. Yeah, yeah. Tim is going to be out for a little bit, um, still recovering. The recovery is going well, but he won't be there, you know, helping me train for this fight. Um um, always bringing in some training partners here and there, but nothing of note, you know, we're about four and a half weeks out and I feel like I got all the skills to beat this guy. And, uh, you know, we got a great coaching staff, great training partners at the gym right now. So I'm just going to keep doing my thing and, and get prepared for this one. How about the weight cut? Has that process started now or will that happen closer to fight time? How, how do you sort of assess that? Yeah, I, I, I've had a lot of short notice fights too. So it's kind of been like crash dieting and, uh, 
this one, I get to kind of gradually work my way down a little bit more. And uh, yeah, as my, my training frequency and intensity goes up and I'm watching what I eat, you know, the weight just kind of naturally starts coming off a little bit. I'm not really focused on it at all right now at this point. And then once we get a little bit closer, you know, about two weeks out, then it starts to, you know, become more of a focus. And I start dialing in on that. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, same three as always. I got my brother, who's one of my striking coaches, uh, Nick, and uh, another one of our coaches, Solo, and then uh, my business partner and grappling coach, Jay Clip. So um, same three as always, keeping everything intact. You know, if it's uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So. Don't, exactly. Yeah, you got it. Um, how do you see this fight uh, playing out on March 9th? Uh, like I said before, I really like it just cause I feel like I can beat this guy wherever the fight goes. You know, I feel like if it was a kickboxing match, I beat him, a wrestling match, I beat him, jujitsu match, I beat him. So, uh, you know, we'll go out there. I never really go on with a set game plan. Um, there's things I need to look out for, but, uh, as far as like a game plan, I'm just going to go in there and I've been doing this long enough. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to find out wherever he's weak and I'm going to take him there. And, uh, but I can see a knockout submission, you know, I, uh, he's a, he's a tough dude, you know. Um, he's uh, he's he stays in there. He likes to bang it out. Um, he's an experienced grappler, so there's definitely a lot of things to look out for. But I just I just don't see him beating me. I don't think he's got the power to put me down. Um, you know, he's the one that's been starched before. So I, I, maybe maybe we can make that happen. That'd be that'd be a good finish. Where do you feel like a win puts you in the division? Because uh, you know he, he's you guys have both you know had some good wins and and you know he's he's had a couple setbacks as well. Where, where do you feel like it sort of places you? Yeah, um, I, this is my last fight on my contract, so you know I think it's real important for me uh, to get a win here and to go into that third contract, uh, winning three out of four, hopefully with two knockouts, and uh, that puts me in a really good position to keep moving up the ladder, get those better paydays, and. Uh, I really want to be in the top 20 by the end of the year. So um, a win here and keep staying active this year. Um, yeah, three out of four puts me in a good position to get those higher up the ladder guys. All intention is to, to re-sign with the UFC, right? You mentioned the third contract. Or do you want to see what the waters are like maybe in Bellator or PFL or anywhere else? Uh, no, I'm happy with the UFC. And um, you know, if I can win here, I think that pay that I'll be at going into my third contract will be a peach. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Does that add more pressure? I mean, you've been in this position before, but is that something you're used to now? Or does, or are you kind of like, man, I really got to perform well if I want to, my, my, otherwise, you know, it's, it's like, it's like the stock market, right? If, uh, you know, you don't, it's, it's always about your last fight. If you don't perform well, then obviously your stock is going to be as high. I like the pressure. I think I perform better under it. So I kind of put that on myself instead of thinking, oh no, you know, I don't know, not thinking too much into it or, or whatever. I, the more I, I, I put in, uh, this like on, on a pedestal, the, the better I'm going to do, you know, just the same way I go into fights after a loss. I've never lost two in a row. So, uh, now coming off of a win, I put that little added pressure on me to make sure I perform at my very best. It's going to be an awesome fight. It's coming up here March 9th. It is UFC on ESPN plus four. Uh, Zach, always appreciate the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, thank you, James, for always having me on your shows. Um, you can find me on social media under my name, Zach Otto. On, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I'm on Twitter as well. The handle at the barbarian MMA. And then right now I'm actually on my way to combat corner to pick up some gear um, got another training session coming up here, uh, shortly. So I'm just making a trip out the combat corner. Um, <clears throat> clearly the best gear in, in all of MMA. If, uh, you're getting any boxing gloves or apparel, you got to get it through combat corner. And then also, uh, Miss Mary Jane CBD, uh, which I've been taking on the daily and, uh, really helping me keep healthy and, and keep training hard.